Hi there, this is Ronnie, coming at you with a video. I had an interesting discussion with one of my players, Amy. If you're watching, hi Amy. Um, and I'm talking about Cthulhu, and in one of the D&D &D editions, uh, I don't think it's the current one, obviously, I think it's earlier. Cthulhu himself had been statted. Now this isn't unusual. Um, certainly Cthulhu was statted in Call of Cthulhu. I have Shadows of Cthulhu for True 20 statted there. Interestingly, uh, Savage Worlds, uh, Shadows of Cthulhu, he's not statted. Neither a lot of the big ones like Nihilathotem, Azathoth and so on. And the, and, and the reason they're not statted in that book is basically the, the thing is they are so big so big so huge so powerful that quite frankly it's foolishness to stat them they can just do it whatever they need whenever you need them to do they can just do it whatever ritual they need to perform they can just do it um, whatever spell you know you need to happen they can just do it um, and the only reason you might roll a stat or something is just to see if they fumble a stat roll a skill roll or something just to see if they fumble and it got me thinking back in my younger younger days and youthful times I liked the fact that Cthulhu was statted I liked the fact that there was a quantifiable way of showing how incredibly immense and powerful that that particular creature was and it was good to see gods statted and uh, the various you know nefarious gods and so on all statted out and similarly uh, palladium fantasy whole sections of deities demons and so on and they were all statted and I find myself thinking now I wouldn't do that I would rather go with the they are so big they are so powerful they can just do it that is why they're a major god that is why they are you know powerful demigod or uh, you know a deity um, some sort of major demon they're just too big and I understand the notion of providing some sort of framework so that uh, a heroic set of adventurers can uh, attempt to topple these mighty powerhouses but let's get real there's very little chance that a major group of it, of PCs is going to topple a deity not impossible but it's if they are going to topple them it's not going to be by some show of brute force or by a uh, some sort of offensive spell it's it's going to be more roundabout and subtle it's going to involve things that aren't necessarily combat oriented but I I like the notion this notion of some things are too big some things are just too big to stat And I think as I go on as a GM, I'm going to be doing less statting for big things. Um, and not care about compar comparing which god is more powerful, which demon is more powerful. I'm not bothered about that. What I want is to say they're all really huge all knowing all powerful all seeing 
all singing, all dancing, uh, omnipotent presences. And I think that's right. I think that's the right way to approach them. Sort the stats. In fact, you know, just, just, they can do it. Whatever spell, they can do it. Whatever ritual, they can do it. If you need to make a skill check, they can, you know, make a roll. Unless it's a fumble, they can do it. Um... That makes them powerful, as they should be, as deities and powerful demons and so on. So that's my thought. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll be back soon with another video.